What happening, player? Get down with your bad self. Uh, I am Rob, and this is a review that makes it Rob's Reviews. And that was probably a terrible intro like the other one I just did, which was my Gotham review. And if you want to check that out, it's on my channel. Go do that shit. Uh, right, I am reviewing Doctor Who. Uh, I can't remember the name of the episode. I don't really care. Um, it was called... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was about people getting sucked into fucking walls, basically. Uh, here's my review of the episode. I thought Clara, again, brilliant acting. She saves it every time. Even P Peter Capaldi does a brilliant job. They just they just write him wrong, I feel. Uh, another a good cameo by that kind of African-American black kid. Don't know what the correct term is. Uh... So, yeah, the black kid was, he was good, he was quite funny. Reminded me a bit of Mickey, I think, like an early kind of Mickey, uh, Rose Tylery, kind of like a, a stupid character who, uh, he was definitely, definitely trying to hit on Ca Clara, and I thought that was just pretty funny. There's, this whole series has very much sexualized Clara, like in the first episode with the T Rex, like there was constant jokes about asking Clara to. I believe the Sontaran asked Clara to take off all her clothes at one point. I should have done. Would have made it a lot better. But honestly, uh, she saves the show. She's brilliant at acting, Jenna Coleman. Well done to you. Thumbs up from me. Uh, the rest of the episode, it was it was a good idea to start off with. I thought this this could be great. This could you know people getting sucked into walls. They could do so much with this. Uh, and then I think they kind of fell flat and ran out of ideas to do, and it just kind of uh, molded into one of those things which could have been a great you know it could have been great, and it just it just simply wasn't. You know, the, when they went into the, the room and there was like a desert thing on the wall and you were like, oh, what, what's that? I, I thought it was just cracks in the wall. They did not make it, you know, they didn't make it obvious for me anyway that that was some skin cells or that was meant to be anything. I just thought, you know, the room's a bit fucked up. Uh, I thought it was just cracks in the rooms, you know, poor person or whatever, council house. And then they went into the other one. There was like a skin diagram or whatever. But then the very first scene where that bearded guy got sucked into the wall, his image was spread across, uh, like kind of horizontally. And I thought they were going to do that. I thought that's what was going to appear in every room. And they didn't even go to that guy's fucking house. So that would have been interesting if they went there. It would have been made more obvious what's happening. Then they went into the subway. And uh, they went all, like, underneath the tunnels and shit. And then they had the whole 3D gun screwdriver, which just, what the fuck was going on with that? That's ridiculous. Kids won't ask questions. We can do whatever we want. Uh, it's definitely verging more on the fiction version of science fiction there. Uh, talking of analogies and stuff meaning things, that was probably not a good segue at all. But TARDIS... It stands for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. And this whole thing was about the 2D dimension that's been rumoured throughout time, even though it's probably never been mentioned on any Doctor Who that I can remember, and I'm a pretty big fan, I know shit. So, obviously, the two dimensions, the, the two-dimension dimension, obviously is not relevant. Otherwise, the TARDIS would have known about it and would have been able to fucking handle it instead of shrinking like a pussy. Uh, that whole thing, like, why the why the fuck did the TARDIS shrink? I, I get the fact that, oh, it, there's some sort of anomaly that's affecting the TARDIS, but somehow it's not affecting anything else. Uh, it, it was one of those really wishy-washy theories where they kind of just wanted to do something cool, and they couldn't fucking do it right without... Uh, I don't know, it's one of these paradoxes Doctor Who seems to get in and they don't know how to fix it. All in all, the episode was a lot better than most this series. It was better than the fucking train one last week. Uh, I really love the emotions that Clara pulls off. I love the way they're doing with the character and the, the interactions with Danny Pink on the phone, even though it's fucking annoying that every time there's, you know, there's some sort of phone call, she manages to phone him from whatever phone... Him 
kind of place they're on or whatever destination is like some sort of cosmic mobile phone that they haven't really explained either. So a uh, good one there. Uh, yeah, it, it was annoying. It was a good premise. Didn't go well. Uh, that's the end of my review. I hope you grasped what I thought. Uh, Jenna Coleman saved it. Good idea. Failed terribly. Black Kid cameo. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe and favourite and share with your friends. I said that in a terrible order, but thanks for watching. You guys are important to me. And uh, I'm wearing, like, I'm doing this the same day as another of you. So this is why I'm wearing the same clothes. So uh, I'm not some dirty Herbert or whatever. Ladies.